What is up everybody? I've been waiting to spill the beans and it's finally time. So this coming weekend, um, the Racing Line software director himself, Ben, he's flying in, I think he's going to Canada first, but either way, he's flying in from the UK to Virginia to tune my car. So right now, the last videos I was telling you guys, it was like a super base file. That's really all it was, is like a base file. So he's coming out here. We're at Saturday morning, we're gonna go do some um, tuning, some dialing in on the street, and then take it to the dyno and see how the numbers are and the torque is, and uh, basically just gather a bunch of data and finalize what I think is what I'll have for a while until like, I guess the, it gets out of beta, until like you get like the full release tune. So that's gonna be a lot of fun. I somehow managed to get the tuner from Racing Line to come down and uh, why well, I didn't get him to come down. This, it kind of fell into my lap, but just, I can't even explain. Like, I am so freaking excited, um, just beyond hype. So also on top of that, Sean from It's Not Stock, he's coming down for the dyno day. And then Sunday, we're all going to autocross down in Virginia Beach. And then afterwards, we're throwing a meet for Ben since he's in town and, and Sean, he's coming down as well. So um, I'll, that link, I'm gonna, I'll probably write a little spiel and like I'll throw the Facebook event link in the first comment. It'll be pinned down below. You guys, if you're anywhere in the Virginia Beach area or going to, dang it, no, I forget the name of the brewery. I'll put it down here. In Virginia Beach, I already called ahead. They said they're totally down to have us come down, throw a car meet in a parking lot and have some beers and food and all that after autocross on Sunday. So I am super stoked. And on top of all that, if you guys can uh, guess, whoever's closest guessing to what I make on the dyno, it is a Mustang dyno. I think we're gonna do it in two wheel drive. So there's that. Um, the DA here on Saturday, I think the high Saturday is like 45 or 50. And it's gonna kind of be rainy, so it might be humid. Saturday is looking really nice, or Sunday I mean is looking really nice. And Friday the day before is looking really nice, but it's looking like a little bit of rain on Saturday, but I mean, it's also almost a week out. I'm making this on Sunday, the week prior. So um, the person that gets uh, the closest guests to the dyno numbers, torque and horsepower, um, I'll send you a shirt. I'll get you one of the shirts. I'll put a picture over here of what the shirts look like. And I might even throw in a pop socket if you want one. The thing is, I need to know how to contact you guys. So make a guess and then put down your Instagram or your Facebook or your Twitter or something that I can contact you on so you can send me your information so I can ship this out for you. Um, yeah, just don't post your address in the comments. You don't want people showing up at your house or something random. I'll send it anywhere. I don't care if you're in Africa, I don't care if you're in Iceland, Australia, anybody's welcome, I'll send it anywhere. It shouldn't cost all that much to send a shirt, hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so put um, your guesses down and Basically for the rundown on power, we're looking at uh, the racing line R600 intake, their intake tube, their inlet, you got the DU88 intercooler, uh, APR charge pipe, um, uh, DBB two four inch catless down pipe, um, no resonator to the stock cat back. That's pretty much all there is there for power. Stock diverter valve, um, I mean, racing line tune obviously, but yeah. So let me know what you guys are guessing. I don't want to say what I'm going to guess in, but based off of my time now, which the best thing I've run so far is 1188 at 118. But uh, this tune is going to spice that up. So you can kind of do like a one of them charts. It's weight. Um, you put in the weight and your drag time and it gives you like an estimated horsepower range with drivetrain loss and all that stuff. But anyway, I'm just super duper hyped. One of the guys from Racing Nine is coming down to work on my car personally. Like that is just, everybody I talk to about it, they're like, how did you manage to do that? I'm like, guys, I really have no idea. The guy literally just fell into my lap and I hope uh, we make some really great videos out of this together and get some really good data and uh, just have a really good time this weekend. Like I am, I am beyond stoked and hopefully this can like further my way in the racing line. Um, and one way or another, maybe we can do like another collaboration of some sort down the road, or maybe even be able to like test some parts. I would love, absolutely love to get my hands. They 
haven't directly teased, but you can see in some of the pictures, uh, their catch can set up for the Gen 4. I would love that. And I also have some really good like ideas I would love to put into the market. Like if I won the lottery tomorrow, like I would buy a shop and buy CNC machines and go to school for like welding and design and, and all that stuff. Like I would love to make so many parts. Like my brain goes a mile a minute. Like I am like, Anyway, I won't get into it, but I would love to make, actually, I am getting a little, a little bit into it. I would love to make like custom, like whole front end pieces, like intercooler, um, condenser and oil cooler and radiator all in one piece, um, made into a crash bar with a whole like perfect shroud made for it. So the air can't escape around the sides or anything, all one bolt on piece for like a couple of different, you know, like to say like the Golf, the GTI, or the R, the GTI, the S3, the A3, you know, and have their own, you know, they're all different probably a little bit, you know, and have a spot for the ACC bracket. I'd also love, like Racing Line could easily make little um, replacement, what are they called? Coil pack hardware. This way the little Racing Line logos on the coil pack hardware. Like there's so many little bits and pieces I would love to do and get my hands in. I just, I don't have the resources or... I don't know. Well, maybe that could be another video. Maybe I'll do like a top 10 things I wish um, companies would make or something. Anyway, just wanted to get that out. Cats out of the bag. This weekend, they're coming down the 25th and 26th. So if you guys, like I said, are in the Virginia Beach area, there's even some people coming down from Pennsylvania, people coming down from Maryland. Um, I don't know if anybody's coming up from like North Carolina or anything, but it's going to be a good freaking time. And maybe we can even go to Mexico this weekend. I don't know. We'll see. It'd be really nice to be able to take him out and do a couple different things. But autocross is going to be really fun. If you're interested in doing auto, coming down and doing autocross and then going to the meet Sunday, um, autocross is with the ODR, so Old Dominion Region SCCA. It's at Pungo in Virginia Beach. That's like the um, the venue is called Pungo. It's a little area. It's, it's the last one they're ever going to have there because they're like demolishing the area for something. I don't even remember what, but there should actually be a really large turnout for that as well. So if you're going to do that, make sure you get in and get registered. I think it's 60 bucks or something and it'll be like eight or maybe more runs. It'll be a good time. Real good time. I promise. There'll be a lot of Volkswagen people there, a lot of quick cars. And uh, I think that's all I got. I ran long enough. I'm just super stoked. Oh, and my tires came in today. So I got brand new RT660s. I stepped it down right now. I have a 24540. I went to a 23540. And that brings the tire is about a, almost a half an inch smaller. So that should help um, with drag times. I lose two pounds per corner of rotating mass. And that's on the outside of the wheel. So that makes the biggest difference. And then um, with it being shorter, that helps, I don't know, the science behind it but basically a, a smaller tire is better for like acceleration and stuff so i might see a drop in mile an hour but i should see a better um et in a quarter mile a better time so we'll be testing that hopefully i get that those tires on my wednesday because i don't really trust anybody my car sits low so i gotta like put my car on jack scans take the wheels off put them in a the truck drop everything off and then make sure they Put all the tires on directionally proper and it's just it's always a headache doing tires i don't have time during the week to go do them myself i wish i did they were supposed to be here friday they didn't show up till today tomorrow we have off but i don't think anyone's gonna be open for president's day or whatever it is tomorrow so anyway done ranting let me see you guys' dino guesses and um hopefully you guys want to share oh we're gonna do it on 93 octane no we at 85 not yet at least so 93 octane intercooler downpipe Inlet, charge pipe, stock cap back. Let's hear it. All right. Thanks for listening to me rant for who knows how long. I love you guys. I'm stoked. Hopefully this is the beginning to opening some new doors. I'm super stoked. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you on the flip flop.